Pizza. Last year, my dad sent me a collection of home videos that had been taken throughout my childhood. I was naturally curious and ended up spending hours looking through the footage. The time flew by. I find it fascinating how even the most mundane moments from our past become endlessly interesting as we watch them back years later. With perspective, you can now see something special about each moment that you completely overlooked when you were actually living through them. Each new scene conjures up feelings of nostalgia and a genuine curiosity as to how your life was back then. You pick up on and enjoy the small details. Use your brakes a bit, man. I remember that bike. Watching these old videos got me thinking about my life now and how it's passing me by so quickly. It's definitely true that time appears to go by faster and faster as you age. I sometimes feel like the present moment is slipping through my fingers. I want to hold on to it. But by the time I notice it, it's already gone. Over the last few years, I've learned so much about life. I've had so many new experiences that have grown me as a person. But all of these experiences are just memories now, just stories I tell myself. What I really want to be able to do is document these experiences in the same way the home videos documented my childhood. I want to create videos that I can look back on in 10, 20, 50 years from now and recall the moments in my life that shaped who I was yet to become. We are living through an amazing period in time where the present and future seem to be converging through technology. What we publish online today will likely be accessible by people for centuries to come. This is simultaneously a scary and exciting thought. We are literally writing history with the things we choose to create, and I want to be a part of that. Almost everyone nowadays is walking around with a smartphone in their pocket. We're all only a couple of clicks away from being able to document our lives, so why aren't more of us doing it? Okay, so quite a few of us are doing it, but I think that most of us are doing it for the wrong reasons. We're putting on a front, trying to mould an image of what we want other people to see, but this defeats the point. What made my childhood videos so special was how real they were, how true to life, because they were real life. I feel like most people go through life with the truth of who they are held firmly inside them until the day they die. I don't want to be one of them. And that's why I'm currently so passionate about making these personal videos which document my experiences, my perspectives, my struggles, my life. I feel like if done in an authentic way, there is something extremely powerful about this idea. It's almost like I'm claiming my own small place in history, like I'm conquering time itself. Like I'm looking directly into the infinite and saying, yes, I was here, and this is who I was.